SQL Server foreign key. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to use the SQL Server foreign key constraint to enforce a link between the data in two tables. So we are going to consider two tables such as vendor underscore groups and vendors table. We will first uh, start with creating the table. How? We will look into that. Let's start with foreign key. What is a foreign key? So foreign key can be a column, single column or group of columns whose values um, match a primary key in a different table. The relationship between these two tables matches the primary key in one of the table with a foreign key in the second table. So let's uh, just first start with creating um, a schema named as procurement. Uh, so it's already been created. Uh, here it is procurement vendor groups two tables also created. So in order to create the schema, you need to execute it individually. Then procurement vendor underscore groups uh, table is created with two columns, group ID and group name, where group ID is the primary key of this table. Vendor groups, here it is. These are the two columns and the key value, primary key value. Then next, using this query you are creating the procurement dot vendors another one separate table with the vendor id as the primary key vendor name as a plain column group id as a plain column then what you are doing in the procurement dot vendors you are trying to create a foreign key so how to write how to create it you need to write like this constraint um, what is the name of the foreign key then foreign key, the keyword, and next, which, uh, referring to which column you are creating your foreign key. So you are referring to group ID. So what is this group ID? This group ID is the primary key column of the vendor groups uh, table. And uh, here you need to mention that. References, which table, to which table primary key does it reference to? The vendor groups and which column does it reference to name? That is group ID. So this is how you need to create it. So once it's created, uh, let's see that. So there are three columns as you see. The vendor ID is the primary key that you created. Vendor name, market type uh, attribute or column. Then group ID uh, is a plain, um, uh, it's a foreign key integer type of uh, attribute or column. And the primary key ID is assigned for vendor ID. And then group ID is created as a foreign key. So that is why it is called as FK underscore group is the key uh, foreign key name. Okay. So that's all detail is created. And actually what will happen here? So let's see. The vendor ID of procurement vendors is unique because uh, it's a primary key. But as you have declared the group ID as a foreign key, which references the group ID primary key of the main primary table vendor groups. That's why here the group ID of procurement or vendors table will not be allowed to um, accept any values outside of the values of group ID of vendor groups. So let's see this, try to understand through some of the comments here. First, I'm trying to uh, input values into the vendor groups table. So here I'm trying to uh, enter values from group ID and then group name. And um, so the group ID, group name, the three values are to be inserted. Okay, let me try, what am I doing? Let me select the values first. Let's see what do I have here. Okay, so actually it's already been inserted. So I was trying to insert it again. So you are mentioning the group ID group name as the um, uh, vendor groups column names and what values do you need for the three rows. So three rows with respective group ID and group name values are already inserted. So I tried to select it through this query uh, now what, what I will do, I will try to insert values for procurement.fenders uh, rows. So am I able to do that? Let's see what I have here. Okay, three. So, so what happens in vendor group, I already have these three records. So the vendor group, group ID has one, two, three as three values. 
so now in the vendor table which is borrowing the primary key of the vendor groups to the vendor table uh, here i am trying to enter um, the group id as 4 which is not present in the group id section or column of procurement uh, underscore groups so while i'll try to insert that let's see what happens so violation of primary key constraint pk vendors this id cannot insert duplicate key in the procurement dot vendors okay so you are getting this error as you are trying to enter um, a new value to group id um, of procurement um, dot vendors table and uh, as it is been borrowed as a form using as it's using the primary key group id of the main primary table that is vendor underscore groups so that's why new value 4 is not by default accepted into the table because we have declared group id as a foreign key in vendors table so am i be, uh, am i able to insert the three as a value to the vendor stable group id let's see that okay so it's uh, giving the violation because let's see what do i have here okay i have the group id as three already created so it's not uh, allowed to enter the same value again as i have um, declared the key as a primary key so what happens now let's try one thing suppose say i will enter record to vendor groups group id name suppose here this time i will try to enter a new record with group id 4 and group name as third party vendors let's make it fourth party vendors okay one draft affected let's see what do i have right now in the table uh, okay four is successfully in inserted so if i will try to enter uh, the four as the group id value to the procurement dot vendors which has the group id as foreign key am i able to do that let's see uh, it has uh, okay i need to change let's see that i need the vendor id as the primary key so let's see what do we have here vendor id is supposed to be unique so let's make it 12 which is not already present here Mm, so let's say I will make the corporation name as ABC change the value and for group ID I'm inserting 4 and this 4 is already accepted in the vendor groups table okay so let's try to insert this to the procurement dot vendor so now it's accepting the 4 because the procurement underscore vendor groups has already 4 in it so that's why it is able to insert four as group id in the procurement dot vendors let's try one thing this time let's try procurement dot vendors this three value let's try to insert four again with having the primary key of vendor id as 13 p o l corp so let's see what happens now group id is accepting four okay because four is already inside the group id of procurement dot vendor so that's why it is able to accept that so will i be able to insert another record uh, for which i will change the vendor id to 14 a1 um, one as the corp name uh, the vendor name next uh, i will change the value so let's see uh, we have what we have only one two three four so let's this time let's say i will enter five as a group id is it going to be accepted here see because it's conflicted with the foreign key constraint as we don't have 
five as the group ID inside the parent table that is vendor groups table. That's why it is not able to accept that. So that's why you are getting this error. Okay. So for a foreign key, you are allowed to only insert those values which are um, already present in the primary parent table. So this is all about your uh, foreign key insertion and um, the steps that you need to be careful about.